In this video, I want to talk about competition and cooperation in the group environment, how each can, can help and or hinder uh, the group process. So, um, first of all, let's define some concepts. When we talk about competition, what we're really talking about here is, is a winner-take-all type attitude where one person comes out on top and another person is essentially defeated or, or does not come out with the victory in that situation. So it's sort of a winner-takes-all type environment. Cooperation, on the other hand, is sort of a winner's all, or all of us are winners type of attitude where we work together to, 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 to achieve a, a goal and accomplish something, and so everybody's sort of in it to win it together. Individual achievement is sort of a separate idea. I want to separate that idea. It doesn't really have to do with the group environment. Individual achievement has to do with one person um, doing something on their own. So it kind of exists outside of the group environment and it's separate from competition. Really, we're talking here about not competing against other people, but competing against yourself. Um, so uh, individual achievement has to, more to do with uh, the individual than anything to do with groups. So finally, hyper competitiveness is where we run into a danger zone as far as uh, groups are concerned, as far as a lot of things are concerned. But in our uh, discussion here, as far as groups are concerned, hyper competitiveness, um, which is a win at all cost type attitude, can alienate people, can make other group members feel uh, worse about themselves, can cause people to act irrationally. As you see, the adult here obviously screaming at, at a young child. Um, that's not the type of attitude that you really want. So while competition can be uh, can be a tricky situation for a group, it can have benefits, but hyper-competitiveness is almost always uh, destructive to the group environment, to group achievement. So what do we mean by constructive competition? Let's talk about how we can achieve constructive competition, competition that helps us. So constructive comp competition basically is competition that uh, that uh, occurs when uh, when we, we are able to, to compete and push people toward achieving goals and, and still have that sense of competition, but we have that without the destruction of personal relationships and without the interpersonal uh, conflict that we might see in hyper-competitiveness and without the um, damage to well-being. So, um, so it's when people um, push each other and, and maybe compete, but in a friendly type of way um, rather than in a destructive type of way. So uh, constructive competition can be healthy for group environments. So when is it appropriate? Um, well, it's appropriate when Again, when those factors are in place, when the competition can be friendly, when it can be um, beneficial to, to the group, you know, to, to push the group to greater heights and push people to do even better work than they may have already been doing, and yet not um, endanger interpersonal relationships or endanger somebody's well-being when it has that kind of positive uh, impact, it could be appropriate in certain situations in the group environment. But there are a few rules that we need to consider when we're looking at constructive competition. Um, first of all, uh, winning needs to be de-emphasized. It's not about personal achievement. It's about um, the group achievement and pushing the group to greater heights. So winning, even in competition, needs to be de-emphasized because then it's a matter of uh, the group is winning, not the individual is winning, but the group is winning in that situation. So opponents also need to be equally matched. They need to have equal access to things. There needs to be a lack of bias uh, involved. Uh, and so uh, the, the opponents need to be equally matched because nobody wants to be uh, going up against somebody, even in, even in a friendly group competition, nobody wants to be going up against somebody who has better tools than they do or has you know more experience in something that they do. So the opponents in these situations need to be equally matched. And then there need to be clear, specific rules to ensure fairness. Everybody needs to have an equal shot and be on an equal playing field um, for these types of situ situations to be effective. Otherwise, you start getting hurt feelings and people getting upset. So in order to maintain the, the friendly nature of this type of competition, you really need clear, specific rules rules that ensure the fairness there. Finally, we need to consider culture in all of this because you know, we have <clears throat> groups oftentimes made up of people from different cultures and, and so we need to understand and respect those different uh, cultural tendencies. So in the United States and, and other type of westernized, individualized cultures, hyper-competitive, hyper-competitiveness is very common. Um, so because we we tend to emphasize individual achievement and individual awards and, and those types of competitions. So it's not uncommon for, for people from individualized cultures to really emphasize hyper-competitiveness and get a little carried away in that regard, whereas people from collectivistic cultures are, are less likely to engage in hyper-competitiveness and less likely to engage in that type of competition, that type of destructive competition, and in fact find it very off-putting and very confusing. And, and uh, so 
we need to understand that people are from different cultures and so competition may be regarded differently and, and that needs to be a factor in, in all of this uh, considering whether or not even, even competition of any kind would be healthy for that group so we need to consider culture if you have questions about the idea of competition versus competitiveness and how competitiveness can be uh, both could potentially be destructive or constructive in a group environment please feel free to email me or email me with any other questions that you might have in the meantime happy communicating